this is Uma Maheshwari from Sir Isaac Newton School. I hope you are all safe at home and enjoying the holidays too. In this quarantine time, let us use the time by having online classes. I am handling social for 5th CBSE students. The first chapter for you, Tracing Our Story. Tracing Our Story which means we have to know the past ages, how the people are leading their lives in those days. That is very important you know, to know, you know. That's why. Okay. This lesson focus on human evaluation, the stage of early human evaluation, sources and evidence supporting human evaluation. So these are the major things we are going to see in this lesson. First one is human evaluation. When did the first human appear? How did they adopt to the changing environment over millions of years? So these are all the basic questions. When did the first humans appear? Do you know? We don't know, but know the proper word, proper on answer. But our scientists are find out maybe from this year to this year. This is the right time, um, the development from the animals to human, the next stage, just like that. Okay. Today, we live a life of comfort in our cities and homes. We have a variety of food to eat and clothes to wear. We use efficient and fast means of transport and communication. We also have several facilities that all humans occurs the world use such as banks, schools and parks. How would life have been during a time when no such facilities were available? Okay, nowadays life you know very well. We are leading a life comfortably whether it may be in cities or home. See at home you have a separate rooms for everything. Kitchen, bedroom, living room, drawing room. So many rooms we have in, in, in your rooms you have fan refrigerators fridge um, and then air condition so which one helps you to lead your life sophisticatedly everything all the electronic materials and all kinds of sophisticated things we have the second one food varieties of food we we are trying and eating um, so many types are there in food also indian Chinese, Australian, American, uh, in so many varieties. In Indian also, South Indian, North Indian, in South Indian, Chetina. So we, may, we have so many varieties of food to taste. And we have transport, all kinds of transport, whether it is land, water, or air. Every transport we have, all and communication. You can able to talk to the person who is in America or some other area in this world easily within a minute. Okay? And also we have banks, schools for education, parks for relaxation. So for each and everything, we have all kinds of facilities. But during a time when no such facilities were available, how they lead their lives? Do you know? From this lesson, we are going to learn and we are going to know how they led their lives okay millions of years ago earth was a very different place to live in the first humans or thought to have appeared in africa around this time these humans our earliest ancestors or believed to be apes that began to walk on two legs over the course of the next one million years they slowly evolved so millions of years not one or two years or hundred years millions of years ago earth was a very different place to live in okay not like this in millions of years we can't imagine that uh, uh, the landscape of the earth it's a very different place to live okay the first humans were thought to have appeared in africa around that time so what they believe Okay, the scientists thought uh, after first humans or thought have appeared in Africa around this time. Okay, in Africa or not any other places, Africa only. These humans 
our earliest ancestors which means earliest uh, humans okay um, our forefathers like just like that but not in two or three generations so many generations before are believed to be apes okay our ancestors or are believed to be apes that began to walk on two legs so slowly they have started to walk on two legs over the course of the next 1 million years ago they slowly evolved developed okay slowly it's the it's not an easy and quick process it was a slow process over the course of the next 1 million years has taken to slowly evolved okay from the old stage to a proper human stage it's take uh, 1 million years approximately 1.8 million age ago, years ago they became fully erect being called homo erectus okay so approximately 1.8 million years ago which is not per- perfect or sure okay which is approximate value only approximately 1.8 million years ago uh, they became fully erect beings called homo erectus erectus which means upright okay uh, they can they can walk straightly they they can stand straightly okay that is called erect erect beings called homo erectus that's they are not called humans okay they are homo erectus what is the name of the people they are called homo erectus these were our ancestors who bore close resemblance to us the modern day human so they are more related okay more close to our ancestors or more close to the uh, to the resemblance to us more more close a resemblance to us the modern day human okay mono erix could walk upright on both feet grips things firmly with their a possible thumb that could be moved around to touch the other finger they had well developed brains okay so which is not easy thing to walk with their two legs balancing their uh, body okay while they are walking because they are using the four two legs and two hands to walk maximum to uh, to get support but the homo erectus or uh, started to walk with two legs both feet also they have to uh, give full strength to the bo- body strength to the leg to walk with balance otherwise they will fell down and that's why round they had well developed brains okay they had well developed they have they thought so many things and they are trying to walk properly with their brain learning to walk upright feet their hands the development of an a possible thumb helped them grasp things with their hands a large brain helped them think plan innovate and make discoveries okay they are using their two legs to walk what are what happened uh, what is the use of the hand so they have started to hold the things and carry the things with their hands and they eat um, with the help of their hands they are uh, holding some things so these are uh, with the help of their brain okay they have the grasp power to uh, to use okay they thought what is the use of this two legs which means hands okay so the large brain brain help them to think and plan with innovate make discoveries okay so they are making so many discoveries with the help of the two hands uh, holding otherwise throwing which is not a easy process for them which is a great process for them and they are doing that process which takes so many years to fulfill that okay to discover what is the use of the hand okay how we we have no written record of these periods of human history hence it is prehistory we have learn about this period by standing the objects that our ancestors used okay but there is no proof for this okay there is no written record of this period of human history hence it is prehistory so the, which is called a prehistory that's not a history that is called prehistory we have learned about this period by studying the object that our ancestors used okay so the archaeological person find out 
the things the ancestors use with the help of them which are these um, axe or uh, knife or uh, uh, so many things okay bricks everything used by the so many millions years ago people which so they in those days also people or they are, they are leading their lives like human maybe in this age they have started their lives like a human with the help of their archaeological departments peoples we uh, we understood so without any record this is called a pre history i hope you understood this part we will continue the remaining things in the next session if you have any doubts you can ask me through group thank you students have a nice day